Are you biasing towards real comps because you enjoy them or because of the EXP changes? Oh, I don't really like them. I don't like the idea of reroll in general, but there's like a few units that I just find fun. So I want to find a, a comp to play in ranked that when you high roll it, you look forward to like rerolling it. Like when I play ranked in set eight, I, I never reroll unless the game like forces me to. But it's definitely good to get a few reroll comps under your belt. That way, like, if you happen to hit five of some unit early game, you can turn into a free first place. Because a lot of people that play flexibly every game, they'll hit, like, I don't know, five, uh, five poppies. But then they won't know the comp, and then they'll just, like, sell the extra poppies and then just play normally. And it's like, you threw away a free first place. Because TFT is a kind of wild game. Like, I've had a game where I hit a three star on 2-1. Right? Sometimes it does happen, and if you don't have the knowledge for it, you won't know how to turn it into a first place. So, I think we should use this time on PvE where there's no rank on the line, to just like, get a basic feel for all the reroll comps. That way in ranked, when I high roll them, I can at least have a setup. There are a lot of people who play PvE, and then just like look up the most OP build and then spam it, and I think it's really cringe. There's like, trying a comp, and then there's like, playing Demacia every single game because you know that it's a free win. All right, we have kind of a start here. There's also a lot of people that like purposely abuse bugs just to like get like a match history full of first places, which is also like really against the point of PVE. Can I make Econ here? Okay, I'm gonna try this build again. I like the idea of Viego. After dealing or receiving damage eight times, Shadow Isles champions gain a shield for eight seconds. Maybe Viego is meant to be a full tank. The Shadow Isles are just the yeah, maybe he's meant to be a full tank and then you let Shadow Isles get him to cast 10 mana every second. So like five seconds per cast, but then he's also autoing and taking damage. That's so like two or three seconds per cast. That's really interesting. Maybe you go like BT full tank. There's the BT. Stay out of my way. The boss. I don't know how I've gotten this augment so many times. Is it like super common? Wait, I'm actually gonna do the same thing. Oh hey, I got the Z. Oh, it, that's two, that's four Maokais in the same shop. I should take it. I should just take it. It's going to delay my three-star Viego, but I think it's worth. Okay, uh, yeah, let's start it off with a BT on Viego. And then I think it's full tank after that. And then we'll itemize that as the damage carry. Oh. Oh, hello, Celine. Thank you for the raid. Oh, I didn't see your message on Discord in time. I'm sorry about that. I hope you had a fun stream. If you ever play TFT, let me know. I'd love to backseat you. Oh, she wants to play Valorant? Oh, I definitely don't think I can play Valorant right now. I have to I have to learn these comps. You don't understand. I have to. I have to get good at PB. Oh, I hit Ascendant 3 a few nights ago. Dude, I got a sick play. I actually had it recorded. Let me show you. This is the play I got for um Ascendant 3. Look at this. Look at this. 15-15, triple overtime. I look. Look at what I had to do to win and hit Ascend in three. We then won the next round. It was, it was sick. Very pog, what a shot. Oh, winning this fight's huge. I get 20 gold, and then I can play Poppy next round.
Oh, hey. That's a V2. All right. I actually feel like you're supposed to like, expose your rogues. Expose them. Let them get touched by the enemy team. And then you let them go to the back line and then kill them. Like, I have two tanks, two rogues. You would think that you're supposed to like keep them like this, but I feel like this is correct. Let's try it. Let's try it one round. I did it! Look at that! I won! Holy crap! Wait, this positioning works. Do you want a pre-level? No, I'm rerolling for Viego 3. I'm trying every reroll build today. I don't normally like reroll, but I am trying to at least play every three-star reroll comp once, just so I have a good understanding of it when rank comes out. You might have that random game when you hit five Viegos and you don't know what to do with it. And it's like, well, remember that one PBE game? You built this and it worked really well. And then suddenly, instead of selling the extra Viegos because you don't know what to do with it, you now uh, win the game. So it's, I'm gonna take a lot of eights while I like figure out all the comps, but I think it's worth and we might stumble upon greatness. No, I'm pretty sure we're onto something with this Viego. Like, I don't know if his stats are bad, but the idea of him is really solid. If you guys haven't seen him, for those who come in from Celine's stream, this is TFT set nine PVE. It's like the beta test. The server has, or the set hasn't come out yet. Uh, I will in about two weeks. And uh, as, as some of you guys might already know, I will be doing a uh, box box boot camp. Uh, do I want belt or cloak here? Uh, yes. All right, yeah, we're doing another boot camp. And the boot camps, uh, for those who have not been following it, uh, at the beginning of every set, I let a bunch of streamers sign up for my boot camp, and then we put their names on a leaderboard, and it, it tracks their rank. And at the end of each day, uh, the bottom two are killed. Uh, did I say killed? I meant removed from the leaderboard. Uh, yeah, they're removed from the leaderboard and life. Uh, and then this keeps going until there's only one standing, and then the winner gets a large amount of money. Uh, usually I put up like, $20,000. We'll see how much it is this time. So there's also like a lot of incentive for me to be good at it. Imagine winning my own boot camp. Kind of cringe, but kind of cool. I don't play for any prize, but I just want the glory of saying I could beat everyone else. Last time we did this, it was actually pretty hype. The last three players remaining in the boot camp were ranks one, two, and three on the leaderboard two weeks into the set. They were 1500 LP challenger and 1450 and 1450 LP challengers. It was, it was pretty hype. What's the entry prize? There is no entry. It's free. The only stipulation is you have to be a streamer. It's crazy that I'm like winning while purposely staying low level to reroll. I mean, the two stars that definitely like makes us pretty strong. I'm gold too, can I join? There is an entertainer league. It's like the, uh, for streamers who are casual. Uh, but last time in the entertainer league, the winner did hit master. So you have to be like reasonable at the game. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you're a streamer and you just want to sign up to see how well you do, by all means go for it. Uh, in the entertainer league last time, the website might still be up, boxboxtft.com. Yeah, here's like the records from last time. So in the Entertainer League, you Jelly won by hitting Masters. She was the only one to hit Masters. It's kind of hype because I, I know her. She's a good friend of mine. Uh, she's never gotten higher than Diamond 4. So for her to like try really hard and then hit and go Masters was actually quite an adventure to see. Oh, I lost. I can't really expect to win because I'm level 4, but it would have been nice to face a really weak player and then somehow actually win. Wait. Viego? Anyway, uh, the casual players placed between gold, plat, diamond, and then one made it to masters. Wait, oh my god. I gotta roll a little bit here. So we already know what we're looking for. It's just like these four units, and then uh, I think we should only focus on these four units. There's like maybe some plus ones you can look for, but I'll just worry about these guys for now. Oh wait, what's my level five? Wait, what's my level five? Uh, oh, it's Kale. Oh my god. I, I almost like missed her, I didn't realize. Kale 3 for Slayer. Oh, did I miss any other Kales? Oh, fuck. I might have missed other Kales, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, Kale. Wow, I got so many units. I got so much, I got like all money. Oh, I missed one, that's fine. All right, let's go hit. Can't take the Callisto. Oh, fuck. No, already? Uh, I, I think I let the two costs go. Ah! Ah! I am inevitable. I'm so sad. Ah! I'm too slow, man. 
Oh, I missed three Zeds because of the bench lock. Missed three Zeds, didn't get the Malkai in time. Oh, it's a sad day, dude. I'm just gonna slam Redemption. Oh wait, hey, Zed is... Oh, oh man. If Zed killed that Lux, I actually could have won this. Oh wait, if I slam the sword on the Zed, I could have won. Oh my god. No, dude. Wait, wait, wait. Viego! He, he can't keep getting away with it! Every step defiance! That's twice! He's just stolen it! Social distancing, units of no. Uh, no, I feel like I need to calm. Uh, do I want 12 gold of EXP? I don't think so. Bastion Heart. It might be Bronze Ticket. I'm still gonna be re-rolling. Hmm. I I'm probably still re rolling for Kale 3, Poppy 3. And Z3, yeah. It's still some decent gold value. Okay, I don't think we roll yet. We just chill above 50. Uh, I have like zero combat augments though, so if I don't hit everything, I'm gonna be in kind of a spot. Are you contested for Kale's? Let's see. Kale's like really popular. Uh, she's actually like the best unit in the game right now. Not for the build that I'm playing. Oh, yeah, there's a three-star Kale. It's not uh, this build. It's the Demacia Kale. It's really broken, and there are a very large amount of players that are just spamming it because they want free wins. This Viego's kind of pog champ. Why not Kled for Yordle and Slayer? Uh, I guess it could work, but I'm, I was mostly looking for one cost, so I'd rather go for the Kale. Let's see. Oh, Poppy is incredibly contested. Okay, I'm actually down to just move on. I'm, I'm, I'm down to just sack Augment, because there's three players going for Poppy 3 and two players going for Kale 3. I can either roll it down right now, but even if I roll up, will I really hit? There's already so many out of the pool. I'm down to just give up on it and then go eight. Go eight and then at eight, you can throw in um, four Shadow Isle. The real unit we want to test here is Viego. He's like not very common right now. Nobody plays him. So I want to try to find a cool way to make him work. You go, I think, full tank with a BT and then you get four Shadow Isles. It gives him 10 mana per second. And then his ability is really interesting. You deal some damage, and then all future damage deals more damage. So you just like let him live, and then over time, everything will die. Like, th there might be questions of if he can scale up in time, but in general, the concept is kind of cool. So I need a Gwen. Gwen and Aatrox late game, and then I guess that's it. So the last item on him, it's probably gonna be a Titans or it could be uh, any tank item. Definitely needs to be resist. So I'll grab Chain Vest or Cloak. Hello, AKA Hutch, welcome. I was also interested in trying an RFC Viego if I ever hit that later. Oh, okay, wait. Wait, I gotta do a count. This guy just got one of every legendary. Kale three. Okay, I actually think I can hit. I, I actually think I can hit. I'm, I'm so close. And then... I'll save this sword for Kale three. What was that? Piltover cash out? No, it's not Piltover. It's that augment where after you roll 40 times, you get one of each legendary. It's very interesting. I tried it once and I couldn't find a good build with it, but like the idea was cool. This Kale is so fast. What the hell? Look at her. It doesn't that like almost look glitchy. She's attacking at 5.0 attacks per second. Okay, now that I'm this close, I'll just like try to hit it even though I'm contested. I will roll down here because I'm pretty sure one guy's about to roll. I turn to grab a Callista. Oh my god. Okay, I'll roll down to 30. We have to do it right before Creep Brown. I am born from the flame of their sins. Glory. 
We did it right before creep round. I was, I was so close, and I know I'm contested. Poppy is the most contested unit of them all, though. So if I hit Z3, I'm down to just move on. Down to just like, move on and holding the poppies, eventually hit it when someone dies. This Aphelios is so fast. I still haven't tried a good Aphelios game yet. One day I'll try it. He looks really satisfying, just like a fun carry. I also like his synergies, Targon and Deadeye. And you can play Tarek. Alright, give me a Z and a P. So many puppies out of the pool, but no, one's ha no one has Zed. I don't think Poppy and Kale are worth it in this comp unless you get them for free. I mean, you do get them for free, right? Because you uh, are rolling for three-star Viego and Maokai and Zed. And like in that time, you're almost always going to pick up like at least seven puppies. It is for free. Oh, I fucked up by picking up an orb too soon. Puppy Zed. Alright. Balance's weakness. I'm actually gonna just move on. Alright. What is the build here? Is it is it spark on Viego? No, Kale shreds. Yeah, Kale Shreds, so I think it's just Gargoyle, and then Gunblade. You missed the Poppy? Really? I feel like if I missed the Poppy, everybody would say, be, be calling it out. There's no way I missed the Poppy, right? I feel like everybody would be like, oh my god, you missed one. This Kale seems really bad without a Glinsus. Rolling, no, I don't need rolling for days anymore. If Shadow Isles is active, your units gain eight armor and magic assist for the rest of combat each time an ally dies. Gain two Shadow Isles units. Arm assist. Nah, no, I already got Omni Vamp. Demacia Crest. Does Demacia Crest only work on one? Oh, wait. I could do Demacia Crest onto Zed, and then, yeah, that sounds interesting. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just level fuck it. And then Namase Crest Zed. So now I get two elites. Elites grant armor and magic resist to themselves and adjacent allies. Oh, I actually didn't know that they did that earlier. I actually did not know that earlier, so I, I could have gotten some kill value. Okay, so Zed gets a- this is interesting. This is cool, I like this, it's creative. It's a spin on the very overpowered Kale comp that is less overpowered but is a lot cooler. Is there a good invoker? Ah, let me just hit a rise. Okay, I mean you just always position around this Zed, I guess. And then I go for a Gwinsus. Play Shen over Galio. Why? Oh, I- 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 I, I see it. Give attack speed. I'm down. Probably better than a front line. What are the odds you get a bow? Um, normally very low because I think bow is a pre uh, premium component right now because Gwinsu is a really high value component. But let me make a phone call really quick. Hey. Yeah. Put two bows on the carousel. Thanks. On a Kaisa? Everyone's gonna take that. Everyone's gonna want it. No! What have you done? Am I gonna be forced to slam a jungle? Do you wanna put Sona near Kale so that she gets the attack speed buff? Send away the sound of the largest comb of enemies. Allies take gain attack speed. I think you'd have to put Kale's ass in Sona's face for that to work. Huh? Like this. 
Like, I don't think this works, does it? I don't think so. Eh, I can try. All right, let's watch her attack speed. Hello, heaven is a lie, welcome. Oh God, this guy's playing the really overpowered Kale Demacia comp. Okay, so Sona's about to fire. Okay, it does work, noise. Oh, I, I beat him. Wow. Wait, my Viego is kind of insane. These aren't even the best items, but it's working out really well. I think Jarvan is just a, like a stupid unit, by the way. Like one star, AoE, two seconds stun. Like, like big AoE, like hit the backline AoE. Aren't you also Demacia? Oh, I promise you this is a much more creative version than the comp that my opponent was playing. The, the comp that this guy's playing is like the incredibly overpowered, well-known free win comp where you hit the three stars, it's really easy, and then you win the game. Like, I don't see any point in playing this comp other than like one time to see like what it is. After that, it's just like, do you really want to farm Elo on PvE? I think this is sick. Nobody plays Viego. The only reason we're playing five Demacia is because we hit the augment for it and not a shadow, not a good Shadow Isles augment. We hit like a bad one. This guy's also trying to hit three star Poppy. I wouldn't be surprised if every single Poppy was gone from the floor right now. If I don't roll, does my free roll refresh? No, I'm just gonna use it. Shadow Islands. So I think I wanna go to Force Slayer. So I have to hit Gwen, Ayaya, Kalista 2, and then Aatrox. All right, pray for a bow. Oh. Wow, it's that easy. Oh, uh, too many. Oh my goodness. How many Gwinces do you want? Yes. Oh, that was so many items. What the hell? Okay, well, I'm slumming one Gwinces. And then a TG on a three-star Maokai, I guess. Wait, let me let me think about this. Zed has a, uh, could be Hodge, Zed. I like the idea of TG on Maokai. It's just an efficient way to spend all of his item slots. Why don't you save items for Gwen? I have a three-star Zed, and you want me to itemize a Gwen that doesn't even exist yet? Maybe it was Morello's. I don't have any anti-heal. But I feel like Morello's Sona is not reliable. Zizra at least takes some heat off of Zed. Actually, it is kind of reliable. She hits the largest cluster of enemies. Oh, I just realized something sick. This is Pog Champ. That's Pog Champ. Strategist, allies in the front two rows get a shield. Oh my goodness. What about Morello's driving? Does he do magic damage? Oh, he does. All right, uh, Mortdog, can we go back in time? I would like to redo my item assignments. Wait, this is awesome. My whole team has so many stats. I'm pretty sure Strategist is broken. You want Teemo over Azir for multicast. Uh, I don't think I care about multicast that much. I guess it's double attack speed buff. Wait, my Maokai has an RFC and a Death Blade. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, this guy has a very sensual Ari. Wait, I'm, I'm gonna die. Wait, that was insane. This guy's name is Chibi Ayaya. Two-star Ari with blue buff JG and Giant Slayer. And she's got nice hands. Maokai! Maokai, if I see 80 carry items on you one more round, I'm selling you. You have now reached 200 flush today. Okay, my Viego is definitely falling off. Oh yeah, this Viego is falling off a cliff right now. He does not scale up fast enough to compete with like a two-star Viego. 
Uh, I think I need to go nine. What's this? Invoker emblem? Not that useful for me. Uh, what do I even need here? Oh, I need a Sunfire. Uh, any chance I hit two poppies right here? Uh, one of the Yordle guys died. This guy still has Yordles. Okay, nice. The, the guy who was ruling Kale Poppy died. Oh, hey! Maokai actually got some good items. Nice, and Zed got good item too. Okay, I should go 9 to empower my Kale. Yeah. Go 9 to get super powered Kale 3. And then just throw whatever. Hit the Poppy 3 at 9, I like it. It's kind of a chaotic fight. It's hard to tell what's going on, but it looks fun. Oh, wait. It, am I killing this? Oh! -wee! That's the other Poppy player! Okay. We finally played the. Oh! Oh, wait. Do I even want. Wait. Is this even a high roll? Oh wait, I don't. I don't think it's a high roll. I don't actually think he fits in my comp. I feel like this is no longer about Diego. I I like the idea of him, but he just doesn't work well late game. Originally, I was gonna play Gwen, Callista for Shadow Isles, and then uh, Aatrox for Slayer. I don't think it works. Oh, well, I mean, this is. I guess this is a, the Aatrox is more for the Zed, huh? Four Slayers. Oh, I can just play him for three Slayer. It's modular. Yeah, it also empowers Kale, so I'm down. I'm down, I'm down. Oh, do I lose this? I can't tell. Is Zed the Pogman or not? He's not. Okay, so I believe Aatrox wants to die. Let me see. He, he's the, when the, he's Darken, when the Aatrox or Holder of the Darken Blade dies, the Darken Blade is equipped to the nearest allied champion, granting them health and omni -vamp. After being equipped to a champion for four seconds, Aatrox will revive. He wants to die. Maokai! Deathblade Hurricane? We need to talk. Oh, wait, I just got a poppy. Wait, I, I actually just got a poppy. Oh my god. Wait, I'm gonna roll twice and hit a Poppy at eight. Boop! Boop! Oh yeah! Poppy, baby! Okay, next round, I'm gonna roll until I can barely go nine, and then I'm gonna uh, level up. Because I want to stay eight for slightly higher chances of Poppy three. Wait, why am I red? Why am I red and my opponent is blue? I feel like I'm the enemy. Am I the bad guy? Oh, this guy is so strong. Alright, uh, so I can roll a few times. Come on, Poppy. Oh! Oh, fuck! Remember to roll! Yeah. Finally, the casual level 9 stage 6 poppy. Is it good enough? Sona, take my rod! Where are you? Okay, it's fine. This is the ultimate final form of Kale. You have now reached 100 gems today. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Four star Poppy! Sorry, Sona. Wait, no, I need... Uh, okay, there we go. Oh, the repair matic sure. No, I can't grab the golden. It's the last fight, Albert. My Maokai thinks he's the goddamn 80 carry. My Maokai in the final fight. Maokai pulls out Quinsu's RFC. 
Wait. My kill didn't get an item. Oh no, Poppy 4 took the item instead. Wait, my Maokai's doing it! He's alive! He's healing! He's dead. Poppy 4 and Viego? Poppy 4 and Viego? There's a chance! Okay, if Poppy's gonna take the item, we should get an item for Kel right here. Oh my god, there's a Gwinsu's, but... Wait, these completed items are so bad. Okay. I have an idea. On. Okay, it's fine. There's no way he Zephyr's the middle. Maokai! Just get some tank items, Maokai! Learn your role, man! He's playing AP Maokai, he's going for the tuber! My kill just got one shot by something, I don't even know what. Team? Uh oh. Oh my god, I got rolled. Wait, the T Hex just one shot my entire team. Oh my god, I got owned. Dodge this effort into getting one shot. Kale, that wasn't your fault. That was Maokai's fault. If, if our entire team could go ahead and report Maokai, I'm pretty sure we can get him permabanned. I have friends at Riot. My guy went Hurricane Deathblade into RFC Gwinsu's into blue buff Archangels. He got every single build besides the one that was actually good.